educators, have you ever wondered or noticed how do you introduce numbers, number words and symbols and their purposes in your early childhood education and care setting? I have a lot of videos on how to include math through the resources in your kindergarten room or early childhood room. But let's focus on numbers today. So there are two types of numbers that I want to talk about, and they are cardinal numbers and ordinal numbers. So cardinal numbers you can be using when you talk about how many in a set. For example, I have three matryoshkas or babushka dolls in my set. This is one, two, three. We have how many fingers in this set? Five. What about this one? We have 10. What if we will add toes? So we will have 20 yeah, fingers and toes in our set. So this is cardinal number. So basically means that three represents the quantity of three. So you will focus a lot on this when teaching young children in your classroom. And I encourage you to create a lot of opportunities for children to count using real concrete objects. For example, if you have leaves outside and they are fallen on the ground, you can collect them and encourage children to count how many leaves are in the set. You also can count how many blocks in this set of blocks. Children love counting. When I was working in one preschool room, I had those number cards and I invited children to count how many of them each guest. And I have a video on that as well, which is very engaging and exciting because they really love to count using one to one correspondence. One to one correspondence is something that we help children to learn. This is one. This is two and this is three. Don't underestimate how it is important. Otherwise, you will end up with road counting, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it's not meaningful. It's just road learning. So what we want to do is to introduce numbers every day. So these are number words that you will be using through songs. For example, five little ducks yeah? or five little speckled frogs or three. Little pigs, yes, so all other stories, they have numbers. We have lots and lots of books that are uh, incorporating cardinal numbers. We also have lots and lots of books that talk about um, these quantities, one, two, three, four, five, and counting down from five to one and zero. So they basically introduce whole numbers to us. The second type of numbers is ordinal numbers, and that's uh, basically the words that we use is first, yeah, second, and third. So this matryoshka or babushka doll is going first, then after her the second one, and then the third one. So what you can do is to play a game when you ask children to line up, or if you do still transitions where children have to line up, we don't really do them very often anymore. But if we do, that's the opportunity for you to do introduce ordinal numbers. So who is standing first in line? Who is standing the second in line? Who is standing the third in line? And this way you can also do counting which helps to promote this concept even better so finally you can also introduce nominal numbers so nominal numbers are those numbers that you can see around you for example uh, if you look at the soccer play so my son used to play soccer or footy play you see on students jerseys there are numbers and these numbers might be 1 10 11 12 etc so these numbers are nominal numbers and you can also use them in your room uh, for different reasons and point out to children that these are symbols of numbers and they're called nominal numbers uh, when you go for a walk on excursion in your community, you can also introduce numbers while looking at post boxes. So my friend Lana, hello Lana, when she used to have family daycare, she would go to the park with her children and they would be from one to five, yes, so ease of age, and she will introduce 
those numbers, she will point out that these are different numbers that they see while they're walking. They would be uh, house numbers, post box numbers, sometimes cars also have numbers. So this is really interesting and very natural activity. You don't need to have special sets, although I encourage you to have sets like those babushka dolls because they promote different types of mathematical knowledge. But you also uh, can introduce numbers in a very, very simple way by doing these three things. The other thing you can do in the classroom that is quite easy is to write numbers and have numbers um, as symbols. So, for example, in one preschool room that I used to teach, we had magazines and also stickers with numbers. So that was from Resource Rescue. So one boy that I used to teach, he had a really, really big thing for mathematical learning. So he had mathematical, I would say, intelligence, if we are using Howard Gardner theory. And he loved making mathematical books. Yeah, you can call it this way. So we created the number book using those stickers where he would put numbers from one to a hundred and then from one to a thousand. That was a very long project and it took him a while and he absolutely enjoyed it. So those stickers children used to put on all their creations and this way they were noticing uh, that these symbols mean something, right? So that's making meaning. If you look at the EYLF outcome number, let me write it for you. Number Y. So what I just did, I just modeled how to write number five. Yeah, and then you can add one, two, three, four, five dots. This way children understand the number and the quantity that you are introducing. So if you look at the EYLF outcome number five, it talks explicitly about um, how to introduce mathematical um, knowledge into child's play, into your program, and how to enrich children's learning. I hope you enjoyed this video. What are you doing to promote number awareness, introduce number words, symbols, and their purpose? Post in the comments below and share this video if you found this useful. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.